We did it real quick. <laughs> <laughs> How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm well. I'm actually really excited to have you here today. Thank you so much for having me. I love y'all so much. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad. I love your energy, Dara. Anytime I see you like on TV, on literally off camera, you're doing interviews. It's just always just a vibe. So vibrant. Love Thank it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and I love it. I love it already. I love it. Great. So I'm going to jump right into it. With everything going on, you know, as a black woman, um, we have seen some serious, uncomfortable, um, disgusting things on TV. How do you as a black young woman feel like you are going to continue that fight? Because we always say black lives is a it's not a um, how can I say a move? It's not a moment. It's a movement. Mm -hmm. So we're going to keep on going with it. And how do you feel you can continue to do that as a black woman in Hollywood? Um, as a black woman, woman in Hollywood, I feel like one of my main goals is to create more spaces um, for black women because I feel like most times we look on TV, we're either playing a side character or we're never like the main role or the main focus in the scene or in the TV show. So when I, you know, am able to make those connections, I want to create more TV shows, more books dedicated to natural hair and loving yourself, more movies and and just bigger platforms because I feel like that's another issue that we still are facing. We are not seeing enough of ourselves on TV or on billboards or in radio. Just we need to see more of ourselves, period. Yeah, a hundred percent. And I love um, that you said we don't get to see more because I'm going to say representation matters. And I love that you wear your curls out. I love that it's just literally fully you. I love it. So my next question for you will be, um, someone actually a fan, uh, someone from my hometown asked you, asked, um, when it comes to sticking up for yourself as a young black woman on set and in Hollywood, without trying to fit a stereotype, how do you conduct yourself? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Um, it's actually, it's, it's super hard because um, even on old projects I used to do that probably didn't make it to screen or anything. I would have moments where I would be like, I really want to say something because this was really offensive, but I also don't want to be the angry black woman or whatever. And it's, it's really hard that we have to be put in a box where if we share our opinions, we're filled to those stereotypes. Um, so I'm just going to say be yourself because those stereotypes are always going to be there and they're always going to, you know, try to cater to you and be like, oh, well, now she's speaking up. So now she's fitting that stereotype. So I would just say be yourself, speak your mind. Don't be afraid to speak your mind and say something if something is wrong, because if it doesn't get checked then people will still think that's OK. And if 100%. Um, for you to play uh, Courtney on a major, the fact that you're a part of a major franchise, a Disney franchise, and I know, I, I think if I were you guys, I'd be a little um, scared of that overshadow of the regular, the original cast. But I love that this is so, such a different storyline. It makes you love High School Musical, the musical, the series, because it <laughs> has an original line for it, you know? Um, how did that go for you, the audition process? What was that thought process? Like, oh my God, I'm going to be a part of something with Disney. I know. Um, when I first saw it, I was so scared. I was like, they're remaking High School Musical? I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> But then I read into it and they were like, we're not remaking it. Just so you know, like they clearly put it in the breakdown. They're like, this is not a remake. And I was like, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> and um, I saw um, documentary style that the show would be take place, would take place like that. And I was like, oh my gosh, this has my attention. So I auditioned for the open call four years ago. Oh. Um, when it was originally going to be a high school musical four, it was going to be like a continuation where we were the children or something. Um, but like... <laughs> Um, but Disney was like, eh, we're not doing that. So they scrapped that and they decided to do the TV show. So I actually auditioned for every um, student character except for my own because my character was only supposed to be in one episode. Oh. So once I once I auditioned for my character, my agent told me, they're like, no, this is only for one episode. But, you know, Courtney is so fun and we felt like it was you. And I was like, OK, I'm going to go in. And it's so funny, like the sides weren't even like fully done or edited or anything like that so I mostly improv and then they let me read with Olivia which oh my gosh she's so talented like yeah, the whole I, 
entire cast, you guys bring a fresh, raw talent. It's such different. I love it. So different. You guys connect really well. Oh, yeah. I was like, not everybody. Like, before I went into it, I was like, now I know at least one person not going to be able to keep up. And every single person on that cast is able to keep up. I mean, with the improv, with the dancing, with the singing, with the acting. I mean, it's just like, and the kindness. And everyone is so nice. And it's just, I wasn't expecting that going in. So it was, it was a pleasant surprise just being able to be with a group of people where we all have the same thought process and the same goals and the same, you know, you, the same procedures as to being kind to everyone on set, including crew, background, everyone, dancers, everyone. I love that. How did the character building um, go about for Crystal? I mean, for, yeah, for Crystal, right? Courtney. Courtney. <laughs> <laughs> for Courtney. Sorry, guys. Don't kill me. Okay. <laughs> for Courtney, um, how did that character building go if she was only supposed to be for one episode? Um, well, um, it was like, she already had a background story a little bit, but in season one, that's probably why she didn't get, you know, as big of a storyline as everyone else, because she wasn't as developed because she was only supposed to be in one episode. So it was like, you know, she was squeezing, squeezing in scenes here and there, but season two, I feel like her development has increased. And now we have a whole background as to why she acts the way she acts. Cause it was mostly just kind of developed on my mannerisms and a little, a little bit of my actions and thought process. So um, season two, is going to be bigger and we're, we're going to get more on season two. And I was going to ask about that. How does that work with production with everything on a pause right now were you guys able to get a large chunk already filmed um uh, we were able to get some stuff filmed however um we do have a lot to do <laughs> um but yeah and it's so funny because you know we don't know what our characters are doing because they never want to like they don't give us the scripts in advance so that our characters don't already know what we're doing in the future so i really don't know what season two looks like after like episode two or anything so i'm really excited to get back and, and see what what what's cooking <laughs> i i don't blame you so i call you a triple threat just because i see that you sing you dance you literally act how did that come about where did you tie all of those was it starting as a child um I actually, my mom, me, my mom and I opened a performing arts school in Baltimore. Um, and my whole family is like artists, like my grandmother who passed away, she was in a group called the Royalettes with all actors. And um, I feel like my whole family is just somewhat in the arts. My mom's an actress, you know, everybody just got a little dabble in something. So I was lucky enough to have great teachers in my family and continued in my school. And now here I'm continued to learning I can't speak at, I continue to learn. I Girl, like, I remember a name. And first I said the character later, we're, we're both on another level. It's okay. I know, I haven't been speaking to people a lot. I feel like I'm lost. I'm like, I haven't been talking enough. <laughs> okay, so like I said before, you're so bubbly. And mm -hmm. with everything going on, how do you remain so positive, um, even offset? What things or activities do you like to do? Ooh, I'm starting to write music um, a lot, which I'm really, really excited about. I'm starting my own like visual album a little bit. Um, I'm kind of like, you know, funding it because, you know, balling on a budget. <laughs> <laughs> Artists over here. Period, yes. Um, so I'm really excited to like show, you know, what my thought process is when it comes to my music, because as people will see, it's it's a little, it's a little different. Uh -huh not the same because I don't I don't really like to be put in like a box like oh she's R&B oh she's hip-hop oh she's I just want to dabble in everything right now while I'm like not attached to anything I'm just like let's just do everything right I now to see because your voice is beautiful and I could I could only imagine what you would do with, with videos and carrying your music over as like an independent artist I really Thank yeah um <laughs> like that goes into hobbies of what you've been doing into quarantine other than um arts wise is there anything else that you've been getting into Ooh, um i've been taking classes online um i used to go to college but i stopped you know to film season two and also colleges are so expensive <laughs> i did not realize that budget girl 
Yeah, I was like, oh, okay. Um, but I realized um, it was actually on, I, I forgot where I found this out. I think it was on Twitter where like um, Harvard, Howard, Brown, um, a lot of them are having classes online for their students, but it's free for everyone. But a lot of people don't know that. So I've been starting to like take those classes on writing. Wow. And business and hopefully everything like, you know, stays in there when I go back to work. <laughs> I'm sure it will. You're a smart girl. So what inspired you to, besides your family, get into acting? Like you knew that's what you wanted to do. Um, I guess what inspired me was I, whenever I saw the TV, I never really related to anyone on TV. Um, I only related to probably like one person, but out of like 50 shows. So I was just like, I want to create a space where kids looking that look like me can be like, oh my gosh, I relate to her. I, I, I do that, you know, where it's realistic and it's, it's something like an image that people can relate to. Um, so hopefully I'm able to do that, you know, or I am doing that. And hopefully in the future, I can continue to do that while I create more open spaces by directing, writing, and all of that in the future, hopefully. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> and claim it. Have you ever had a moment so surreal like that where maybe a little girl who looks just like you has come up to you and is like, just Dara, I love you. Or And how did that make you feel? And if not, do you hope to have moments like that? Um, yes, I've had a couple moments like that, especially when I go back to Baltimore. All my students are like, Dara, we see you. Um, oh, I got Lisa Gardee. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, Dara, we see you. And I'm like, I love y'all so much. Or like, I'll be walking down, um, going to Mont Dorman, and a lot of kids come up to me and be like, hey, good job. And I'm like, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. What advice would you give to another young black girl who wants to make it in the industry? I would say, please keep going. There's going to be a lot of people that are going to question you and say, you're not good enough. You're not pretty enough. You're, you're not this size or you're too small. You're too thick. It's going to be a lot of people that are going to make you doubt yourself and doubt your actions and doubt your mannerisms. Please do not listen to them. Please keep going. It's going to be a stepping stool. But once you hear that, yes, it's going to be worth it. Just keep going and know that you are perfect the way you are and you do not need to change yourself no matter what someone else says. I love that beautiful, beautiful words. So how does the cast of High School Musical, the musical of the series, stay connected even though you guys right now are in quarantine? Because I feel like that, that energy has to still stay connected so when you guys get back on set, you're ready. Yes, yes. Um, it's actually so funny. I just talked to uh, Frankie. <laughs> Frankie, Joe, and Julia uh, yesterday, um, we were on like a FaceTime and we were like, how are y'all doing? How are you doing? How are you living? But all of us together, we all have these Zooms um, every, um, I forgot what day, but every single day, well, not every single day, but at, once a week, <laughs> we have these where we all just check on each other and just make sure that everyone's holding up and everyone's just, you know, handling everything okay. And they're they're awesome people. And I'm really glad that, you know, they're so nice. Like, they're really nice. I love it. So I don't know if it's just me, but for some reason, your character, Courtney, kind of reminds me of, like, Zendaya's character when she was in um, Step It Up. It's oh. such a stick-out role, I feel. And, again, representation. So Thank have you ever had anyone um, say that you remind them of anyone specifically from Disney or anyone in general within the industry? Ooh, um, like me or, or like Courtney? Either. Ooh, I would say um, a lot of people, I don't know, actually, oh, oh, a lot, my image, a lot of people say I look like China Ann McClain, which I'm like, thank you so much. She is so beautiful. Um, and for Courtney, a lot of people say that they remind her of Mercedes from Glee. And I was just like, oh, thank you, because Mercedes can sing every time i'm watching glee i'm like mercedes needs more solos she needs more solos give amber riley more solos <laughs> <laughs> so that means we need to give courtney more solos <laughs> yeah, I mean, right? okay. <laughs> I mean. honestly and i want to say everybody watching thank you guys for not murdering me because listen i have not watched disney i've watched the high school musical recently but i said step up i'm talking about channing tatum they're like you you mean shake it up Y'all got me. Y'all loyal. I appreciate this. <laughs> so what is a training 
what is the training like on set for everybody? What is a, what are the hours? What are the the the, the um, dancing, the singing? What does that day look like, or even week? Oh yeah, shout out to all the dancers because I don't know how they do it. They be dancing every single day for hours on hours. Wow. Um, we um, we have dance classes where we sing and dance because most of our songs are performed live. So we have to get our breath control. Um, we also have music lessons and piano lessons. It depends on the song. Like if you have to play the piano or if you have to sing, we always have like about five lessons before just to make sure everything's right when we record live. Um, and dancing hours, those hours are long. <laughs> But there's so much fun. Like, it doesn't even seem like time is passing. Like, also, shout out to Zach, our choreographer, Zach and Alan. They are literally the sweetest people in the world. <laughs> they don't get mad at me because I be messing up. <laughs> they don't get mad at me when I mess up. They, like, take the time to explain everything. And it's never, like, a competitive type of environment. It's always loving. And it's always, like, let's get this. We're going to kill it. It's just, it's amazing. So if it's 10 hours, it doesn't feel like it. But sometimes it is 10 hours. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I could only imagine. I actually remember, like, growing up watching, like, some of the um, behind the scenes of the original one. And they used to be dancing for hours. So kudos to you for being a champ through that. And Thank for you. such a young age, too, you know, just dedicated. Thank you so much. <laughs> problem. So where do you see yourself next career-wise within the next five years? Ooh. Uh, um... Hopefully, um, right now I'm writing a novel, so um, I would love to get that um, made into a film. Um, the novel is about, you know, me going through high school, transitioning from Baltimore to California. So I would love, 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 love for that to be in, interpreted into a film and maybe be on the big screen. I don't know. Hopefully. I they can. love that. And that's exactly another film where we needed representation. A beautiful Black girl striving and making it in Hollywood. Thank you. Yes, yes. You're welcome. You do a lot of writing. So you said you were writing a novel, you're writing music. Where is that another little magic spice that, that Dara has? Where did that stem from? Um, I, I guess just like I always have these like visions in my brain and I'm just like, I, I want to put it on paper. I don't know. Also, my mom encourages me a lot. She's like, you know, because I always like to tell her stories. I'm like, mom. You know what happened at me at school today? Da 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 da. And she was like, write it in your diary or write it down so you won't forget, so you can tell your future self. So I have all these like old writings of me like in high school, and I was like, this 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 is a little bit of a weird experience. I don't think everyone's experienced the same thing I'm experiencing. So let me write it in a novel so everybody knows, you know, this this stuff be happening. So that's. Really cool, a really cool <laughs> idea to think like to write something down so that your future self can look back at that. I like that. <laughs> I was four, but I've never really thought like, aha, future self. <laughs> <laughs> um, so where would you say um, the the cast? How can I say? I say every cast has its high and low moments. So where do you where do you see that your cast is strong, and where do you see your cast is probably not the best and still needs some work in? Ooh, ah. Uh... Well, they're just a strong group of people all together, um, just like in every form of the arts, like dancing, acting, singing, all of that. They're so strong. Um, week? I don't know. I guess we never like, we never, okay, this probably is not like considered week or whatever, but we can never like pick a spot to like hang out at or like we can never figure out. I do. Um, I like that one. Yeah. <laughs> Very realistic yeah <laughs> other than that like i don't see no weeks but all, we also don't have the same interest in music i mean some people be putting on country oh, and no, that dressing room could be very frustrating then like oh somebody passed me the ox yes yes somebody passed on the ox and they be putting on some weird stuff and i'm like whoa turn it turn it off turn it <laughs> so i know that you were also on freaky friday so yeah. do a quick little thing Choose between, I'm going to give you two people and you choose who you would rather be. Ooh. Who you, okay. which way. So, if you had to choose between Tayana Taylor. Oh, yes. Uh, or, did you, sorry, did you see her video where she was like, ah, oh, her he's a, body. She's another one who's kind of like, a, I think another triple threat personally. Yes. Awesome. Yes. So, uh, 
Taylor or Summer Walker? Who would you? <gasps> Ooh, Summer Walker be hitting me with the jams. Oh my gosh. Ooh, I can't even pick because like riding wise, I'm gonna have to say Summer Walker. But I, like, I had that in my head. I'm like, that's probably more so up her alley with the creativity wise. Mm -hmm. I can that. Okay. Yeah, a guitar. Ooh. <laughs> Which High School Musical, um, Frankie? <laughs> Frankie, I love him. <laughs> or, I'll just say Ju Julie, right? Jules? Yeah. yeah. Which one would you, would you switch with? Ooh, oh my gosh. Uh, I love them both. I'm going to say Frankie because Frankie be walling, like, <laughs> His energy is just like all over the place. And I feel like that's more connected to my energy. But Julia is literally the sweetest person. She's like the mom of the group. Like she tells us like, okay, we love you guys. Like keep lifting each other up. I love Julia so uh, much. <laughs> Someone asked in here, do you guys plan for a season three of High School Musical? That is up to, that is above my pay grade. I want to see <laughs> I definitely want a season three. Hopefully we get one. Um, thank you, Lord Jesus. <laughs> but that's above my pay grade. That's Disney Plus's. Um, that's them. <laughs> I, but I would love to see them do, too, the same thing that they did with the old High School Musicals, you guys going on tours. Oh, um, yeah. You know what I mean? Really being out there and connecting. Because I have to say, you guys, as a, as a show for Disney Plus, have grown tremendously. I have a huge fan base. How does that feel to have these amount of fans to so going from just having a regular life and then bam now you're you're Courtney I honestly it still hasn't like resonated <laughs> yet but I'm just so grateful I mean the fans have been nothing but loyal and kind and sweet and they have sent me so many messages through dms and and through messaging and I just want to say Thank you to all of them because the support is just, it's noticed. And I'm just so grateful for all of them. They're the sweetest people. They're also the most talented people. I'd be seeing all these covers of like wondering and born to be brave. And I'm like, how the heck are they not on the show? Like I'm confused. They're just so good and just kind people. And I'm so glad that our fan base is just filled with kind people and talented people and amazing. And I just love y'all if y'all watch it. <laughs> Well, I think that when you have shows like High School Musical, the series, and you have shows like Glee, it brings out the people who feel suppressed, you know, or the people who feel like they're maybe nerdy or something. Because yeah. not musical theater is always the popular route. I did musical theater in high school. I did all the shows. That's my thing. I saw, I love Broadway musical theater. So love I feel it. like you have movies or shows such as yours it really brings out the people's true creativity they feel like they have a home a bond so i just think that's why like a fan base like yours is so strong and very very necessary i'm so happy they're literally the sweetest people like i just wish i could meet every single one of them and just be like thank you thank you i love y'all y'all so talented Ooh, they're just amazing people i'm just so grateful so what is the hardest part about being you Ooh. <laughs> um ooh uh <laughs> I don't want it to get sad enough. <laughs> no, let's let's be real. Yeah, um I do still um I still struggle with confident issues and I do still feel insecure about, you know, a lot of things about myself and I I know I still need to work on that and I do have very very low days, but um, for the most part, I do have a, a good support system that helps me through everything. And yeah, I would say, you know, being a black woman in America is not easy, especially being in the public eye where you have to hear a lot of racist stuff <laughs> um, in, you know, in your messages and also hearing people's judgments on you without having met you, you know, people talking about my weight, my hair my complexion, just a lot of things. And I just want to say I'm grateful for my mom because she has got me through a lot of um, a lot of tough times, especially when the show first came out and also just growing up in Baltimore, you know, but everything, you know, other, you know, I don't want to get too sad, but 
I think that that's very um, a conversation that's necessary because even when you look in the comments, you're seeing it. People are like, oh my God, Dara. Like, I think that people need to be aware that even someone like you, you know, who is on a great hit show who's bubbly and all that all of that stuff still deals with the real things that are going on in the world still deals with their own personal issues and like you said you have family to lean on which is always those ups and downs so there's nothing wrong with that and i and i even thank you for being raw and genuine and like honest to feel comfortable sharing those type of moments um on this platform with me thank you so much for allowing me to because um I'm really grateful. A lot of a lot of people don't really ask, "How are you doing?" <laughs> so, thank you. Time. So, how has how has life been um, for you, Dara? Just as Dara in quarantine. Ooh, um, it's been. Um, I would like to say I am, you know, grateful to be able to live with my mom. You know, I'm not slacking or anything, but <laughs> <laughs> girl, <I> do. <laughs> So I have someone to talk to and everything, but um, it's been, you know, it's, it, I've been learning more about the world um, and I've been learning that a lot of issues are going on during this quarantine that a lot of people aren't talking about, especially in communities that aren't as fortunate to be, you know, in like Encino, California. So I just want to say for me, I'm, I am privileged enough to be able to say I have a home and be able to say like, I get to talk to my mom, but I do know that people out there are struggling. And I feel like we need to work together as, you know, a country to continue to uplift those communities that are getting overlooked. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yes. Do you have any future ideas or something you would bring to the table that you would want Courtney's um, character to be developed as? Ooh! <laughs> um, I would love to get, you know, more of a background as to, you know, her learning about her own activism and learning about the power in her voice. Um, I would also just love to learn more about her as a person and express that vulnerability of her that um, wasn't really shown. I mean, it was a little bit, but wasn't really shown in season one. Um, but I'm, I'm really, I'm really excited to explore that vulnerability and her, the reasons why she feels as though, you know, she has to be perfect all the time and she has to get straight A's and she has to never make the wrong move and, you know, all of that. So I'm, I'm really excited to see where they take Courtney. Yeah. And I think it's even funny that, um, because like you said, being a black woman in America is not easy and Courtney's role is not easy because yeah. she wants to be on the straight and narrow and imagine how we as black women always feel like having to be our best to be noticed. Um, and so of notice how did you get noticed and cast it i know you said you did it about four years ago but how was that that initial like aha we want dara renee like you were discovered <laughs> Ooh, um i would say it was at that open call i was standing in a line and it was like a thousand people in the line probably more and everyone was performing which i thought was so i i had just flew in from baltimore like that oh my day. god <laughs> I know. And everyone was like on their guitar and they were like performing. And I was like, y'all, we not in the room yet. What, who, what are y'all doing? <laughs> it warming up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But I, I wasn't like used to it or anything. And like, I remember I was in line and everyone was naming their credits and they're like, well, I was on this show and I was on that. And I was like, I auditioned for the Lion King and got rejected twice. So the Broadway. <laughs> yes. I auditioned for Broadway. I got rejected. <laughs> But yeah, I was too tall, but that's okay. I understand why they did it. I was going for a character that was like nine and I was like 14 out here trying to stoop, you know, be shorter. Yeah, I feel you. <laughs> Do you um, what are some things you have in common with your character, Courtney? And what are some differences that you have with your character, Courtney? Ooh, um, the things I have in common, I would say, is our sense of style. Um, I'm really excited for everyone to see um, my season two outfits. Ooh. I'm so about my season one outfits. Y'all are shady. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's not your fault, though. <laughs> tell them. Tell them. Shady boots. But I understand, though, because most of the most of the outfits were, um, they were hiding my figure. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, but um, season two, the outfits are, so I would say... The styles that um, the styles that we have coming up 
uh, really relate to me as a human being. They allowed me to pick my own clothes, which I'm like, yay. Um, also, I would say her um, activism. I relate to that a whole lot, a whole lot, a whole lot. Um, what we don't have in common, um, she's very, um, she's not afraid to say her thoughts. I'm a little afraid to say my thoughts, just a little bit <laughs> in certain situations. I'm a little scared, but... I love that about Courtney, that she's so outspoken and she's so ready to fight what she believes in. And she's just amazing. And I just, I'm so glad I get to play her. I'm glad too. And I love that you just seem so happy in your role. I think that's the most important thing. Um, usually I think after a while, when I study actors and actresses, some of them are not even happy in the role they're doing. So to know that you are having some serious black girl joy brings happiness to my heart. Um, I'm just the questions in here let's see there's a few people who want you to sing <laughs> sing a little no we did we Wait, went over can I just say something about my can i just say something really quick they said they did us dirty in the clothes <laughs> but let me not <laughs> that's why it's so great that now with where you guys are, you get to have a say in what you're going to be wearing and hopefully with your makeup, you know, I think that's also important with black actresses on set having a voice to be like, mm, this doesn't fit me, my body, my, my style. So I'm happy for you in that one for sure. They're so, they're so sweet. They're so sweet. They really allowed me to pick out my clothes for season two. And I just want to say shout out to everybody on the costume crew for season two. Y'all are literally... Y'all are chef's kiss. Like, ugh, I love y'all so much. They're amazing and so kind. Someone said, what's your favorite place in Baltimore? Ah, um, <laughs> I remember, um, <laughs> I remember me and my friends, we would always go to hot skates. Do y'all go to hot skates? Ah, shout out to everybody that went to hot skates. We would always go to hot skates. We would go on Friday and that was the days where it was like, like it was like people was getting down but i'm not i'm not gonna say too much because i feel like i'm gonna share my age if i like, say well <laughs> she said okay i get you never mind <laughs> someone asked do we get to hear you sing more in season two i cannot confirm or deny that so <laughs> someone also asked is there any new cast members coming in for season two? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. There's yes, cast members, people. So please be prepared. Yes, we have Olivia Keegan, absolutely amazing. We have Roman Banks, absolutely amazing. And we have one of the judges on World of Dance that's coming and I was just like <gasps> so it's, it's about to be popping like a lot of stuff is about to a lot of stuff is about to switch it's about to up oh my goodness um and I know they some of them are asking like when are you guys going to be filming but again guys everything is on standstill I feel like in Hollywood even movies are being pushed back dates to like 2021 um yeah. I do not know going over we went over if there's going to be a tour i definitely said i hope that they do do it like the original cast did i think that'd be amazing for you guys um and actually do you guys get to play a part in some of the songwriting because now that you i'm aware of you songwriting would you ever suggest about you being a part of the actual songwriting process oh my gosh i would love to i would love to i know olivia wrote a song for season one that was an absolute hit shout what? out to that oh i want go stream it um and josh and olivia wrote a song together called um just for a moment absolutely slayed it shout out to them um so season two i really hope you know um i'm i don't know um personally i also can't spill too much tea but i'm so down to write a song if they would let me i'm so down <laughs> <laughs> i would love that for you actually it's a really good question someone asked if you could have any superpower what would it be dara <gasps> Oh my gosh. I was I was literally just watching Avatar the Last Airbender. <laughs> like in my mind I'm like, do I want to do earth bending, water bending? What do I want to do? Um I guess I would want to I would want to like be like Storm and be able to like um work with the lightning. Oh, okay. <laughs> and like fly. That would be amazing. For sure. Mine would be flying and probably mind reading cuz I'm nosy. Yes! Oh my gosh! You should also add invisibility so like you could be there and be like, mm, you don't even know I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And um, we're going to start wrapping up in a little bit. And I want to ask you too, someone said, oh, sorry, I lost my question. Um, will any of the original cast of High School Musical ever show up on the actual series? Oh, like, like season one? No, of the movie. Of the movies. Oh, oh, but like, like it... Zach, Vanessa, all of them. Do you ever do you think that they'd ever come to season two or even and do something with you guys? Um, that is above my pay grade. I do not know. <laughs> they don't let us read the scripts beforehand, so I do not know. Guys, I'm trying to get these exclusives for you, but Dara is really good on keeping these secrets. They're asking a lot of good questions though. Um and I, I they be getting the tea. They try to get the tea out of me every time I go live. And I almost be slipping. And I'm like, oh. They do. They, they're coming hard. It's blowing up in here with um the questions. And someone asked, did you have to do your own makeup your for season one? Um, No, I didn't. Um, um, I had, um, we have a makeup crew. And I was, you know, someone did do my makeup. Um, but yeah, it was, it was really interesting because I never used, I never normally like use like oranges or like pink. So it was like, it was like a experiment. It was, it was fun. Um, and I can't wait to see more with those outfits for season two. Let's see. What the <laughs> I'm so excited to show the outfits. I feel, I'm like, I'm so excited. <laughs> my last question for, for you would be, um, through everything, you know, mental health is important. How do you keep your mental health um, top priority? And how would you suggest to your fans during these very hard times? You know, we're inside, outside is slowly opening up in some places. What advice would you give to them? Um, I would say, you know, um, keep learning about yourself. Um, take time for yourself, take time to care for yourself and know that mental health is just as important as physical health. And you have to take the, you have to take those moments to really evaluate your emotions and your mindset because it is so important, especially now that we're in quarantine and everything. So just take time to care for yourself and acknowledge that if there is a problem, then there is a problem. Definitely. Oh, I love that. And um, I don't know if I put you in the spot or not, but can we get a tune? Can we can we get a, a, a closing <laughs> scene? Yes. Um, ooh, uh, what should I sing? Um, uh, oh, okay. I'll sing. Um, <laughs> I Listen, I have not warmed up. So if she cracks. Got you. It's okay. <laughs> okay. I'll sing Raindrops, I guess, from Ariana Grande. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Who I'm like nervous. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when raindrops fall down from the sky, the day you left me, an angel cried. Oh, she cried. An angel cried, she cried. Woo! Thank you. Girl. I probably changed the whole key. It's like so deep. The angels are singing. They are singing. Guys, I thank you so much for watching. Where is the buzz? Dara Renee, you are just talented. Just so much fun. Thank you so much. I had a really, really great time getting to meet you and interviewing you. Thank you so much for having me. Anytime. I wish you the best. And to everyone, to um, Disney's fans, to Dara's fans, to Where's the Buzz fans, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for supporting. And stick around for our next one. Dara, enjoy your day, and I wish you the best. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye, guys. Where is the buzz you said was mine?